I'm the founder of our international digital economic and blockchain DBA project. I'm the founder of the 518 blockchain communities and also is a YouTuber. <laughs> Three topic. First is about the background of crypto mining. The second is about the green energy and government regulation. The third one is about the future of a crypto mining industry in Australia, in my opinion. So about the background of crypto mining. So when we're talking about crypto mining, many per person think about the mining machine, the computer, and, and some factory, and the solar farm. But the mining, crypto mining is a process by which new digital coin are entered into the circulation. So mining is a performance. The first computer to find the solution to the problem, receive the next block of Bitcoin, and the process begin again. It is also very important to the infrastructure of the blockchain. We have this topic uh, begin from the next year. You know, next year, China bans crypto mining. China government think the crypto mining is dangerous to his uh, financial ecosystem. So there are many mining machines rebalance to other countries, to the United States, to Europe, and to Australia. Yeah, many of my students just uh, have mining farms in China for many years and now have to, have to transfer to other countries. This is very difficult. You know they need to go to different culture, a different country, and a different uh, government system. This is very difficult, but from that time, I think I need to give some help to these students and help him set up a different mining, uh, mining farm, mining uh, in factories. This is a change of a, BT, uh, of a Bitcoin mining country share. You know, at the beginning, the China mainland, the yellow part is the China mainland, and the pink part is the United States. The yellow part, you know, at the beginning, maybe nearly 75% of the share in, in China, because China uh, can make most of the mining machines. And just to begin the 19 May 2021, and there are nearly half, uh, nearly 50% uh, of the share. And at that time, uh, nearly zero. Now, in China, mainland have nearly 25% of the mining share, all of the world. And in the United States, you can find the pink part. The pink part, yeah. This part. Nearly 37% of the shares in the United States. And the brown one, brown part, is uh, Russia. This part. Blue one is uh, Iran. Where is Australia? <laughs> we can't find it. <laughs> uh, but now, uh, you know, uh, also this is very, also a very important information about the statistic of BTC, BCH, uh, and BSV. You know, to the hash rate, nearly 99% of the hash rate is uh, BTC. And the network no, uh, no, nearly 95, more than 95 percent. But to the transaction, 85 percent of the transaction is B from BSV, and the block size, more than 99 percent. So if you want to mining and get more uh, transaction fees from the block, so you need to think about BSV mining. <laughs> yeah. So just the last week, I just uh, transfer to take some my mach uh, mining machine to the Gorilla Pool. You know, now in the BSV uh, mining ecosystem, have two pools is very famous. One is Tao, but not public, and the Gorilla Pool is a public pool. Uh, when we're talking about mining, other, uh, other mining also is, is very popular, it's about the 
Doji and the LTC mining. Uh, also, most of the machine is the ASAC machine. Uh, in the many years before, when we talking about LTC, uh, the reward, other reward is Doji coin. But now, because Doji coin became more and more valuable, and uh, uh, we always say that we do we mining Doji coin and get a reward of LTC. <laughs> yeah. The second topic about the uh, green energy and the uh, government regulation. Uh, you know, the, to an uh, ordinary miner, he just look for some green energy. You know, this is no, no question. Uh, when they, uh, no problem. They just looking for some green energy and they want to do some innovation uh, to get high profit. So this is a project in, uh, in Europe, in Finland. Uh, this, we, we buy this property and uh, uh, it can provide 100 megawatt uh, electrical support. Uh, but very interesting is, uh, uh, is uh, thermal energy is connected to the uh, municipal pipe network. Uh, only 28, uh, from the 28 meters from the mining factory to the uh, municipal pipe network. So in the Finland, the all years they need the uh, they need a heating system. So this mining farm uh, can get uh, half of the uh, uh, half of the, pro the fee to from the uh, municipal pipe network from the government, and only can use half of the, uh, the fee to support the mining. So this is very interesting project. Also, you can find many uh, miners just uh, uh, do some uh, do some work to make the uh, mining uh, more easy, uh, especially in Australia, in the United States, because the home and price is very high, and uh, so some uh, some mi some miner just uh, make the container. Uh, you know, they can make a container in the factory and take it to a worksheet. Uh, the container is very different. Some is just for uh, ordinary uh, miner machine uh, use um, air to air cooling, and some use uh, liquid cooling. Uh, use water, use some other liquid. And uh, this one, and this one is a container. It divided into two parts. The this part is a this part is a is a cooling system. Uh, liquid cooling system, and this part it can take more than uh, uh, more than 200, 200 mining machine. Yeah, yeah the total is a uh, big big containers. Uh, also, we can find a different use. Uh, maybe you can find uh, you can use a different container to take a different system. But now in Australia, we have set up five. Uh, solar farm mining factories in South Australia, and the, all of our mining uh, mining farm was user containers. Yeah. Uh, also, you can find some interesting uh, cooling system. This one also is a cooling system. This system is a uh, is a user water to to get your cooling and take the heat to the swimming pool. So uh, the swimming pool and the fishing and fishing industries. So the person can uh, have a very, a very nice swimming pool and the, and the miner can get, the, uh, get a bit of corn at a, at a lower price. Yeah, very interesting, yeah. Of course, you can find some money machine. It became more and more clever. Uh, this, is a, this is from the uh, golden shell. Uh, this is a quiet uh, mining machine. Normally, the mining machine not very quiet. <laughs> if you have tried, uh, even you take it in the garage, it's very noisy. Eh? But, uh, but this one is very, very quiet. And this also is a box, this box theory also is very quiet. It did not use too much electric, uh, electrical power. Um, but if you are both, you need to pay attention. Maybe some of you, uh, some of you partner, <laughs> business partner, take it in your office. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's very quiet. You can even can take it in your home. You can you can not hear hear too much noise. Today, I because in Queensland now it's winter, I just have 
take three, three box in my, <laughs> in my home, as in the in the night time, it just gives some <laughs> hate. Yeah. Uh, this is other one, uh, very silent mining machine. is from the from the uh, bit, from bit, from mi miner uh, uh, bit, Bitcoin. Uh, I see from mi mining uh, eight mining. Uh, eight, eight, eight from eight, eight machine. Uh, uh, this is calling uh, water calling uh, mining machine. So how about Australian regulation regulation tree framework? So uh, when the person, when the ordinary miner just want to find some country to take set up his mining business, the first one. Is he want to find some country friendly and stable. Uh, you know, uh, after the, the 19 May 2021, there are many miners take his mining machine to uh, Hazakistan. Uh, and, but you know, after half a year, uh, the, the government changed the regulation. They need to change to other country. This is very difficult. Also, you can find in Iran, have many mining machines, but your, your rules, government rules also change very quickly. But in United States, in Europe, in Australia, you can find Australia is a relative friendly and stable to restrictions for blockchain and cryptocurrency. This is very important. Now, in Australia, we can talk about mining, we can talk about cryptocurrency, we, can, we also have big country and have a solar energy, wind, uh, water, and some other different kind of energies. So it's a very nice place for Bitcoin mining. Uh, we have set up five uh, mining farms in the Australian. Uh, three is in the solar farm. And two, uh, one is before beside a, a power station and the other one is in uh, old factories. Uh, of course, I just want to find some uh, sure mining fa factories in Queensland. I have looked at this for half a year. I also, uh, I also nearly signed the contract with some uh, power station, but because, because the electrical price is higher and higher very quickly, so I, I, need, I have to stop, but I think uh, maybe after several months, I can find some nice place to very near here. Uh, if I can set up a mining, uh, mining farm near uh, Brisbane, I hope next maybe we can have some conference in Roxade. Maybe very interesting, yeah. So how about the future of the crypto mining industries? I think in Australia, the advantage in energy sourcing and the insufficient crypto mining home and uh, resource. You know, in Australia, there are so many different kinds of energy. It, it's very easy to find it. So it's a very, uh, we have big countries, they don't have so many persons, so a very big market. But also, just for there, did not have so many persons, so the, so the crypto mining home and resource is, is, is very limited. You know, some of my students just put the mining machines to a, uh, to a mining farm and just the, the fence in the mining machine is, is damaged and need to change it. He called for several times and one person changed the fence and he need to pay 1,000 Australian dollar. <laughs> so it's... it's, it's you, you know, in China, if you change your fence, maybe only 10 Australian dollars. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's difficult. Uh, I just want to, uh, want to set up a network for providing maintenance for mining machine and, uh, and the mining, mining farm. So, crop and mining is valuable to Australian electrical grid balance. This is a very important point. I told many, uh, many persons, told the government, uh, many people think crypto mining is, is, a, is a dirty business because it can use so many energies. But you know, if you have, if your country have many energy, but did not have any person to use, it's also is a question. 
uh, you know, we need to use energy when energy is, is grown. So, if you set up a system, you use crop of mining, when the, when the uh, electrical power is used by the popular, popular other industries, we can stop the crop of mining. And at other time, did not have so many person use and did not have so many in the industries. We can use the mining, uh, crypto mining, to keep a very stable use for the electrical power. So this is a very good balance for the grid. I have taught this uh, point for many times. So this is a two side of one coin. Also, this is a very good industry. You know, I have, some of my friends know I have been a, a permanent resident for our training for many years. My family was here in Brisbane for nearly 10 years. But I uh, very, but I need to fly to Hong Kong and Shanghai and back to our training every year for many times. Because I very difficult to find uh, international business in our training. And even I buy some coffee, coffee shop, I need to communication, uh, take to some, to some friend. I think it's difficult because my first language is, chi is Chinese. But you know, the mining is very international. You just don't need to work, local work, but I have an international market because the Bitcoin, you did not, not, did not know to sell to, to Brandon, to Michael. You just know, you just sell it in the, in, in the exchange very quickly. So you get it, uh, you get your mining machine, your money, you work hard and you get the Bitcoin, get the BSV and you share it, it's okay. So it's a very local work and very international market. I think this is a very good business in the, our training. Uh, we have to do so, so much things. We have set up the blockchain metaverse as occasion to promotion the crypto mining in Australia. We also set up a global crypto mining cross for half a year, uh, Liz also is a teacher of our uh, of, uh, of mining cross. Uh, we now we have finished nearly 400 students all of roads in different country. I think maybe uh, 50 uh, 50 students in our training, and we also participate in establishment of a global mining operation and the maintenance network. Uh, I just want to help the the miner in different country can, uh, can uh, maintain his, uh, his mining machine. Yeah. We also have some book uh, about, about the blockchain, about the digital economic, about the, uh, the miner, um, but in Chinese, I hope today, yes, this year we can have a book in English. Uh, every week we have a blockchain meetup, uh, every Friday, from the Australian time is 4 o'clock p.m. To, uh, to 6 o'clock p.m. We have your blockchain meetup uh, now online. Uh, we also, because I'm a YouTuber, I also have your blockchain diary. <laughs> yeah, my coach diary. <laughs> Maybe this is my footprint, yeah. I also, uh, also have a blockchain uh, diary um, for nearly four years. Yeah, nearly four years. You know, from last time, the Bitcoin have a high price. Yeah. Uh, you, if you, uh, if you interested, you can follow my uh, my, <laughs> my YouTuber. Yeah, blockchain metaverse. This is one of my patent uh, about the blockchain project evolution system. If some friend asks you to invest in some project, you did not know very clear. You can use this patent. You know, in this system have. Uh, totally have 1,000 points. Uh, if you project can get more than 500 points, that's a good project. If you project only get maybe three, 300 points, it's not a good one. Uh, if you cannot know how to take a point for your project, that means you did not know this project. <laughs> so, do not forget where you start and why you start the whole journey. This you keep your eyes into the future for big picture and fill your heart with your love and courage. 
Thank you.